I'm so happy because I'm a gummy bear, gummy bear. I'm, I'm sorry, there's was, was too good not to put in the video. Hey, my name is Garrett, and welcome to episode 69 of Attila's Cut. I spent this week on pre-production of my next video game. I made a lot of concept art, did more planning and organizing, learned more of Unity, and more. Let's talk about it and have some fun. I did a lot of concept art this week, and I think it turned out pretty good. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Listen, that was not a joke. That was legit. Uh, my my dad got me um a Wacom bamboo drawing tablet, and I started using it for the first time. And I'm obviously not very good at it. So I, for most of it that you'll see on screen, I made that with mouse and keyboard because uh, it's a lot easier for me right now until it at least gets somewhat good with the stylus. The biggest and most in-depth one is this, which shows some gameplay and what the game is sort of going to look like. Now, it might still be a bit confusing since I haven't really talked about it yet, but this might give you a few clues. I am no concept artist, so this might look different than the end product, but at least it's nice to get my thoughts and visualizations in my head onto the computer. When it comes to planning the game, I'm now on step five of my current weird process, uh, which I explained in last week's devlog. Now I have a nice and almost complete formatted document. I might end up just blurring stuff out or just showing a template of how I did stuff instead. Uh, for example, I can tell you that I divided it in, for example, the gameplay category. I have core mechanics, combat techniques, and I have information in that. That's an example. Also, the engineer and me decided to include an appendix section where I would put more rambly notes and stuff that didn't fit the core document, but I still wanted to keep track of. I've also started creating a task list of everything that's going to be need to be done for development. I basically just sort of imagined each main character and concept and trying to figure out everything that that thing can do. So I know all the tasks I need to do to accomplish that. It's in its very early stages right now, but by the end of next week, I'm going to try to finish that off and get it into some sort of planning board like Trello. I also did a lot of learning this week. I've watched a lot of GDC talks recently, mostly about marketing and story. And I think it's honestly kind of robbery how all of those videos are free on the GDC YouTube. They are really helpful. I'm going to really try to act on that knowledge. Additionally, I spent some time learning Unity. That, okay, that was weird. Um, so one of the biggest things I did was experiment with the shader graph in the high definition render pipeline or HDRP. I knew a bit about shader graph before, but I went through some in-depth tutorials this week and I will be honest, like I, I love it. Like it, it's so incredible. I think it's because I'm not much of an artist and seeing some more like analytical and, and math stuff in it actually kind of makes me happy. Like I was actually kind of happy to see some like high level calculus, like matrices and, and transformations. Uh, and even derivative <laughs> derivatives um it, it's kind of cool to see like what's possible with it and it's all pretty easy i mean it's hard to know exactly what to put together but all the nodes are there for you to use and it's pretty simple drag and drop to actually do it i'm like 99 percent sure i'm going to use hdrp and the shader graph in the final game uh, because i think it's really cool um but We'll see what happens. So one of the biggest faults of my last game was poor planning. And I've already been doing better with this game's game design document and task planning, but I want to keep going further. In my engineering classes, we focus a lot on product management and we use some tools like Gantt charts and project journals. So I made those for this game. My project journal will be where I write down everything I did for a given day, my thoughts, kind of more actionable things I did anything I'm thinking about. Well, related to the game, of course. My Gantt chart will probably end up being a series of smaller ones. We'll basically map out the estimated time I have for each set task and the actual time I spent on it. Do I think everyone needs these for their own game? Absolutely not, especially if they're smaller scale. Uh, but the engineer in me feels really comfortable using stuff like this and actually putting my knowledge to work. Um, so I'm, I'm happy I'm doing it. Okay, so about the name of the game. So last week's devlog, I sort of nicknamed the product Puppeteer, not official name, but that's what I was calling it. And that's kind of not going to work. There's actually already a game out there called Puppeteer. It's like 2013. Um, it's like a PlayStation game. And I would rather not to go, go to war with um, with copyright people. Raise your knee, raise your other knee, raise your foot, raise your other foot, walk in a circle, do the puppet master. 
And this might actually be for the better because with the theme and the story of the game, actually Marionettus fits better because that's a person who controls puppets with strings. Yeah, that's, that's a hint. I've come up with some better name suggestions and I want to know you guys' opinion. My top three choices right now are Strung by Three, Not Yet Marionette, and Don't Regret Marionette. I do have a personal favorite and I've kind of already been using it uh, for naming some documents, but I want to know your guys' choice. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you prefer any of those or any other ones. Next week will be the last week that I spend on pre-production of this game. June 1st, I will actually start development and the devlogs will get a lot cooler. I, I hope. Like they, I got, I got some good ideas, but I need to actually do it. But okay. Anyway, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next devlog for some more fun.